So we have a variety of treatments that are available for our patients, and there are different categories of treatments. There are injections. Those are our oldest treatments. I will call those the tried and true treatments for MS. And um, those have been around since the early 1990s. Most of those injections are a class of treatment called interferon. And then there is another treatment called glitirum or acetate. And the patient would take those treatments at home. That's a small um, injection, mostly under the skin. There's one that's a in the muscle injection. Um, and they would give those to themselves at home. Um, and those are all indicated for relapsing remitting MS. We have pill options, and those are newer treatments that we have for patients, which is a, a great thing for patients. Again, they're taking those treatments at home, um, and again, those are indicated for relapsing remitting MS. And then we also have our targeted um, IV treatments that are antibody treatments. They're very direct treatments. Uh, those are treatments that a patient would have to go to an infusion center, and they would get an IV drip of those treatments. There is a treatment that is a once a year treatment for two years in a row. There's a treatment that's once a month, it lasts for about an hour, that IV drip. And there's another one that is every six months. I think it's important to remember that just because we have different categories for MS, that doesn't mean that a person falls completely in one category versus another. The way that we make um, a diagnosis of a category is really based on what the patient's telling us. But we know that patients that have secondary progressive MS, they also still have the, um, the risk to have a relapse. And so most patients with secondary progressive MS, um, especially if they are relapsing, are continued on MS medications. The newest one um, is also indicated for primary progressive MS. That was a very um, big um, achievement for the field because that was our first treatment we had for primary progressive MS. We do think about with each patient what the best treatment for them would be. Some of our treatments are lower power treatments. Those are probably our safer treatments, but they're lower powered. Um, and we think about those for patients who maybe have a bit of a milder condition. And then we do have also treatments for relapsing remitting patients that have a more uh, perhaps active or aggressive course. We have so many treatments for MS because researchers really have gone about uh, trying to fix this problem in a lot of different ways. We do not um, treat a patient, I always say based on like a cookbook uh, recipe or something, um, we think about the patient, we think about what they presented with, how severe their symptoms were. We do look at their MRIs to think about that their MS in that way. And what's most important is talking to the patient and seeing what is important to the patient. Mm -hmm.